Off to meet the groundhog. Why, hello there, and welcome to a filming location adventure. In 1993, Harold Ramis released a movie that he directed starring Bill Murray about a groundhog. That's right, Groundhog Day. Filmed right here in Woodstock, Illinois. It takes place in Puxitani, Pennsylvania, we're nowhere near Puxtani. <laughs> We're in Woodstock, Illinois. So this movie was all filmed in Woodstock. Uh, it's gonna be a little different type of video because we're gonna we're gonna do, I guess, two locations. We're gonna do this location where I'm at right now, uh, and then we're gonna go over to the town square. That's where the majority of the movie was filmed. So it's only one location, but it's a lot of locations because the majority of the movie is is filmed there. Right now, right here on the corner of Fremont Street and Madison Street. This is a very different Fremont than what I think of. I've visited Fremont Street in Las Vegas several times. We have this bed and breakfast. Look at this thing. I would love to actually stay here, but unfortunately time is not on my side times what what if i wake up the same place that i woke up on the same date oh my goodness oh my goodness birds are talking to me this is a beautiful home Right here we got is the Cherry Tree Inn Bed and Breakfast. I definitely am gonna say it's gonna be a goal to stay here one day. Again, not today though. This would be our street scene where everyone's running off to see the groundhog. Gotta go see Phil funny the first day that phil they're both named phil the first day that phil wakes up doesn't know what's going on nobody wants to see him by the end of the film everybody loves phil celebrity just walked up to get a little closer shot and i just realized they have a little plaque groundhog day 1992, Cherry Street Inn. Not too far from the bed and breakfast. Down here on this side of the street, this is where Phil actually asks for piano lessons. That was a little bit more of a walk than I realized, but still not far. And it is the correct address, 348 Madison Street. The Charles Rushton House, built in 1893. This is definitely the spot, because they actually have a plaque as well. Let me see if I can zoom in on here. I don't want to walk up their steps, but let me see if I can zoom in on here. Right there, the piano teacher's house, Groundhog Day movie. 1992. The fact that both those houses, I mean, the one's an Airbnb, but the fact that both those houses have plaques on them is awesome. Like, that means they embrace the movie. Like, that's, that's awesome. I love, 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 love that. Love that. Doesn't, it, it um, I can't say it doesn't happen too often, but more often than not, uh, people aren't happy when, when they get visitors, but they have plaques on their freaking houses. 
That's awesome. All right, we gotta go a couple blocks over to the town square where we can check out a bunch more spots. We're here. This is where almost the entirety of the movie Groundhog Day was filmed, right in this little town square. This is awesome, it's so cool. All right, let's track down some spots. Look at this, this is the first location we've stumbled upon. It says Ned's Corner. Ned's Corner. So this is the corner that Bill Murray would walk around every day as he was coming to the town square. This is more or less looking for plaques apparently than it is for actual locations. <laughs> They've got it. They did all the work for us. That's crazy. But this is actually where the homeless man would have been. Ooh, is that a train? I think there's a train coming. Hello, trainee, trainee, trainee. There you are. Look at that. Check that out. Nice. So this is where the homeless man that Phil eventually tries to help and save uh, ends up later passing would have been standing. This is where Ned grabs him. Phil? Ned Ryerson. How are you? I forget exactly what he says, to be honest. And they would walk down this way a little bit. Here's where the little diner would have been. I don't see a plaque on the. Oh, never mind. I am absolutely blind. The Tip Top Cafe. Groundhog Day. Now that means that Phil would have stepped off into the ground right here. Look at this. Bill Murray stepped here. This is where he would have found the. He would have stepped right there into the into the water. Watch out for that first step. It's a doozy. The sidewalk is definitely a little different. I think they changed all the sidewalks and everything, but at the same time, you can definitely feel. This is the place. Not too far from Ned's Corner, which was right there, right on the corner there. If you walk down just a little bit, you have this alley right here. This is the alley that Phil tries to save the homeless person. He tries to save him multiple, multiple times. This is one of the spots. And if you look straight through, there's a movie theater that was used in the movie as well. Would have been on the ground right here on the sidewalk, right there. You can use that glass window as reference for the frame. And if you put down this way, everything else lines up as well. Except for that man enjoying his iced cream. But other than that, this is almost identical to the movie. Pretty wild. His alleys don't get used too much, huh? This building can be seen as they pull into the town square when they first arrive. Oh, look at this. Chase Bank. It's a 
that actually is the correct spot. The bank really is a bank. That is the bank that he stole the money from. So Phil would have actually been sitting over here talking about wind, cue this, cue that. He knew every little thing. Then he knew they were gonna drop the money so he could take it. He just kind of sneaks in there and grabs it. Look at this. Woodstock, Illinois, Ice Cream Social, 7 p.m. June 7th in the square. Groundhog days. I just was a little too early. Just a little too early for the Groundhog Days Ice Cream Social. I gotta get boogie in here. We're running out of daylight. Now, as we walk into the center here, definitely some recognizable monuments. That statue in the center. That statue in the center can be seen. This gazebo is featured thoroughly. Right around here is where Phil and Rita would have built a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Oh look, another plaque. I haven't seen a plaque in a little bit right here. First snowfall dance, Groundhog Day. That's where they were dancing. Snowfall dance. This is where Phil grabs Nancy the first time. Nancy, Nancy Taylor. It's kind of tough to, to tell if this is the right spot, but it is. The trees have leaves on them and they're a little bit bigger the bushes as well. But you can see this, this little access panel. You can be seen behind them as they're talking right there. Luckily for me, this monument has different symbols on each side. So it made it a little easier to figure out they would have built the snowman around here. Right around there. A little bit away from the square here. I was venturing over to this corner. This is where Gobbler's Knob would have been. This is where they did the, the news interviews and everything would have been right around here. And yet another black Gobbler's Knob in the film Groundhog Day. Woodstock Square Mall. That can be seen in the background as well as the Puxitani Mall. All these buildings. I did bring screenshots with me to take some photographs. I wasn't planning on using them for in the video, but this is just too, absolutely too perfect. So we got this screenshot here of Rita and Phil walking. So you got that building in the background, even this tree. This is what blows my mind, this tree right here. See that tree? The way it's curved a little bit and has the Y. There's the curb and the Y. That is fantastic. Right across from where Phil jumps up there. Speaking of jump, a little, at one point in the movie, Phil gives up and he tries multiple, multiple tries. And this is one of the spots he tries to uh, off himself. Jumps out of that circle there. Down to the ground. 
definitely would do it to a normal person, but when you wake up at 6 a.m., every day is Groundhog's Day, doesn't quite do the trick. This is the side right here. It can be matched up window for window as it pans up. And he's standing in the center there. There were so many spots here. This is amazing. This definitely one of my new favorite locations that I have visited. That happens a lot to me. I have so many favorites. It's so hard to choose when you have spots like this that are so amazing like this. Like there's so many spots from this movie. Um, I missed a lot of them because I am running out of time. <laughs> but I have it in my head that we're gonna come back here. We're gonna do a much, much better version of this video with the camera. I was supposed to use the camera on this one, not my phone. Not that the phone doesn't do a good job because the phone is phenomenal. Actually, it might be a little better than the camera, but I was going to use the camera <laughs> to do this video. I got a memory card error. I have more memory cards, but I wasn't gonna mess with it. So yeah, that's, that's ground holiday, ground hog day filming locations. Woodstock, Illinois. This whole place just in general is amazing. It's phenomenal. This whole town. That's I want to come back just over there. <laughs> Did you see the slight confusion? That was real confusion. I'm like, did I just walk past my car? But I didn't. I'm like, I thought the line was the, the, the parking lot I parked in was down here. I could have parked right in the town square. There were so many spaces open. I'm sure it's not normally this this dead. There was like nobody around. That's a beautiful shot right there. Look at that. Look at that. Picture. Maybe not. Definitely could be a picture. so beautiful but yes groundhog's day sorry i was kind of ranting uh amazing movie amazing locations there's so much more here to see if i didn't have a 12 ish hour drive back home right now we'd stay a little longer but we have to get going unfortunately i hope you enjoyed the video if you did like it subscribe to the channel we do lots of filming locations theme park and travel videos and random things from time to time until next time be good have fun and learn something then put your little hand in mine there ain't no oh. mountain we can fly hey. oh no